Oh my God! Before this apocalyptic scene, it was a quiet night for Elise Shamaz and his family inside their six-story Beirut apartment. It all began just after 6 p.m. and it felt like an earthquake. In San Diego, the earthquakes are more like a, a rolling shake, but here it was a jittery shake. Shamaz, who taught at SDSU a decade ago, says all of his locked windows swung open. The whole house was moving. And after a second, we felt the shockwave. It was uh, like a big explosion hitting you. Shamas raced downstairs and snapped this photo of a huge smoke plume. The blast site at the port just three miles away from his home. For miles from that site where explosive materials were stored according to Lebanese officials, a scene of utter destruction. Shamas says he can't help but recall Lebanon's bloody civil war. I lived here in Lebanon through the war and uh, we were used to shellings and, and bombs and explosions. This was like nothing that I've ever experienced before. Across the world in San Diego, news of the blast hitting the Lebanese community hard. When you see it for a minute, you can't believe it's, uh, it's happening. Restaurant owner Nabi Jaha immediately called his niece and a cousin, who both live about four miles from the blast site. Both are okay, but shaken that some cars were lifted from one side of the street and thrown to the other side. Shahaz's anxiety over his family still lingers. He has several cousins who work near the blast site. But I haven't been able to talk to them. You worry, what can you say? Michael Chen, ABC 10 News.